How's it going everyone? This is Sean here from Scale Model Car Guy channel and today's video is going to be mail call. All right, before we get it started, thank you, my subscriber. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever makes the world go around, guys. Subscribing is free. Subscribing is free. I'll never ask you for anything. I don't ask for anything, guys. No Patreons, PayPals, anything like that. Uh, never here. All right, all I ask is you to support this channel and anybody that I mention in the community, uh, and I'll leave, always leave a link in the description below. So anytime that I mention anybody for whatever reason, just go check them out. Give them a like, share, and subscribe. And uh, just help out the community, guys. All right. Now, let's get this video kicked off. Uh, I don't have really a lot, a lot going on as far as the Porsche group build as far as that. Uh, it's just sitting in primer. Uh you can see right there, body's in primer. A uh, few little things painted, not much. Uh, just a lot of prep work on that, so there's not a lot that I've done as far as that. And I don't know if you can see in the background right there, the truck is still sitting there. I've showed you the truck already. Uh, it's just waiting on me to decal it and uh, clear coat it and do that stuff. Uh, there's a few... Uh, a few things I'll have to do to it, you know, as far as painting wise and everything, but you know, it, it, that's not a very hard one to build. The worst part or the hardest part was cutting it and adding the extension and doing all that, but you'll get the video on that when it's time comes. But this video is to thank a subscriber of mine who uh, contacted me and said, Hey, I got several kits. I want you to have I'm, oh, I want to gift them to you and uh, I said well yeah that would be great sounds great and uh, he's been a, a long subscriber of mine now he don't have a well he does have a YouTube channel and he comments and everything he uh, but he don't have no content on there right now but uh, you know I encourage y'all to go check him out I'll leave Stephen Baker uh, his description below uh, I subscribe to him. I think I can't remember how many he's got 14, 15 subscribers, something like that. But and he's a model builder, so maybe that'll encourage him to uh, start posting. But uh, with that being said, he sent me some models, and I want to share y'all with y'all what models I got. And I'm very thankful to him. Thank you, Stephen. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, now I know what uh, Matt feels like at model car videos. Uh, yeah it's pretty awesome you know i get somebody give me something here and there you know a model or two you know but never this many this is the most i've gotten just somebody just give to me just you know right out of the blue thank you Stephen. appreciate you now let's get it started off the very first one is this chopper right here r m customs it's a custom chopper you can see right there i don't know i got a glare on that stupid light there but there you go you can see uh you can see the side of it i'm gonna get my glasses on so i can see uh let's see what year is this one from it's from 2016 but uh yeah very cool got some different options different wheels heck yeah there's a motorcycle group build right there and then i got this Oh, and by the way, all these kits are never been started. Uh, this is the Jeep Rubicon, uh, Wrangler Rubicon. And, you know, of course, it's from Revell. And there's the side pictures right there. You know, a lot of people's built this kit, and they say it's a really good kit. And this is from 2020. Very, very nice. Very nice. And then got this one right here this is the uh amt 1955 chevy cameo this one here is molded in that uh yellow just like that right there just like on the box uh what year was this one released here let's see you 
guys I'm not seeing a date on the box but it would be well 2011 2011 on the bottom of the box thank you thank you very much very nice and then the next one is the 1923 Ford T Depot hack that's a really cool kit right there look at that pick up you got the you know the wood body right there you know you got the seats in there like that man that thing is that thing is super cool and this one here is from if I can find it man I'm sure not finding a date normally AMT is pretty good about putting dates on on here I'm sure it's fairly new or, you know, it's from the 2000s and something. I cannot find a date nowhere on it, guys, but very, very cool. And the 1957 Chevy Bel Air. And this is the older tool, you know, from the... Uh, the original AMT tooling from the, what was it, from the 50 or, or 60s or 70s or whatever, you know, the original tooling, I guess, uh, whenever it was first tooled. And this in here is from 2011. And it's molded in that blue color. Let me show you. Kind of an aqua. Kind of an aqua color. That's That's pretty cool. I've never had one molded in that. You know, I've had them molded in tan and uh, white. Uh, man, I can't remember, but never aqua. That, that's that's pretty cool. Now here's one that I'm I'm really digging. Y'all know me. I kind of like the bigger scale stuff, uh, small scale. I just like odd scale stuff. Uh, I just like to be different. I like everything different. And this. This is super cool, guys. Check this out. This is a Chevy S10 SS pickup. I didn't even know S10 had an SS. I think, you know, there's like a, a Cyclone and a Typhoon and, and stuff. I didn't even know that. I know that the bigger had an SS. I didn't even know there was an SS in a in a uh, little S10 pickup. But this is 120 scale. This is Lindbergh. <laughs> and it is cool. It's never been built. Let's see if there's a date on this box here. Uh, guys, I know. Old man can't see. 1993. That was the year my youngest son was born. My youngest son was born in 1993, and he is now an Army recruiter in upstate New York. And, uh, yeah. So that's as old as my youngest son never been built this thing is still sealed inside gosh thank you steven appreciate you and i'll tell you what that will get built for sure i mean dang yeah that's just too cool i've never had the s10 like that i i've had back in the day some 20 scale i think it was like a camaro or a firebird something like that but i never had the pickups and then I got the AMT 1957 Chevy Bel Air, and this is the Car Culture Series. And what's cool about this is it has the photo etched grill, the photo etched, uh, what do you call that, tin back here, and the little, uh, whatever you call it, the, the trim, and it has the emblems and stuff like that, plug wires, white walls, and chrome foil that is just too cool it is way too cool and this one here let's see the date on this one if I can find a date on this one my god I can't even find a date guys normally like I said AMT is good about having dates on there 2016 2016 never been built I think it's it's molded in bright red 
Oh, and it also has the trunk opening too. You can see right there the trunk opens. And this is a totally different tooling from the uh, the aqua color one I just showed you. This was the tooling from the 90s or 80s or whenever it was when they tooled that. 90s, I think. And uh, yeah, this is totally different beast. It, it's awesome. Thank you, Steven. Dude, I really do appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Uh, <laughs> I dang sure want to build that all original probably exactly like on the box right there red and white well if i can get the white top to work out well that red's hard to to paint over but we'll see we'd make it work white top on it that would be perfect oh man that thing's awesome uh like i said y'all he don't have uh any content but go over there and subscribe to him that might help him. he told me he's a model builder that might help him get uh Get his button gear and make a YouTube channel. I mean start posting stuff. Thank you, Steven. Appreciate you, brother. Like I said, now I know how Matt feels. This is awesome. Thank you. Alright, guys. Uh until the you know until I get something else done. This you know, I have not got much done. But hopefully next week I can get some of this Porsche and make an official Porsche group build update and get once I get it in color, uh then it's going to go together good hopefully i have a better better uh, shot of getting this body put together than uh than jason at uh blue ox did you can see mine not got the warp as much as his did see that right there it's not it's not as warped he said his was major warped the rest of my body's not warped this is the only part that is warped and uh i think once i get the this uh chat or frame uh glued down and uh where it's supposed to go that will take the warpage once everything's down and clamped down that's going to take the warpage out of that i think i do believe but that was the only major warpage i had uh the rest of my body like this this is not warped not whatsoever uh my front here there's no warpage on that i've lined them up they'll set down man uh, i'm lucky knock on wood on this but all right guys anybody i mentioned please like share and subscribe thank you steven love y'all peace out